One of the key things um, in a strong uh, I suppose strategy when I look at a client's needs and looking for wealth accumulation is to ensure that they've got a insurance uh, overview. Okay, my view around having a robust uh, investment strategy is making sure you have a sound foundation, which I believe insurance is part of that foundation. Because unfortunately, things that are not planned do happen. And the question around any strong strategy is, what is your backup plan? Okay. And the key thing for me is those foundations formulate around how they go got the ability if the income stopped tomorrow. How do they pay for all their financial goals and dreams, their lifestyle, and the investments that they've committed to? And how do they protect their family in the event that something was to happen to them? Okay, so the four key areas that I talk about with clients when I talk about their personal insurances is life insurance. So upon death, what happens to their family and their estate? Now, if they were to be permanently injured and could no longer participate in their workforce, how would that affect their future goals and aspirations personally, but also from a family and investment point of view? One of the key things a lot of people don't consider is their ability to protect their income. We protect our car, we protect our house. Now, if you had a goose that laid a golden egg every day for you, would you insure it? That is our ability to earn an income. For 40 years of a working life, that is your future security of, your, of achieving your future goals and aspirations. Okay, so income protection, I see, is one of the key components to ensure that a client has in place if they're really committed to achieving their long-term financial goals. Okay? And the last thing we talk about is, unfortunately, more and more these days, we hear of situations where a family member is affected by a traumatic illness, whether it be cancer, heart attack, whatever the case may be. So we talk about those unplanned events that may happen and how best to plan for that in the event that it was to happen. Touch wood, it doesn't, but how do, you, how do we recover from that point? Okay, so the four key areas that we talk about, and it could be a combination. It really it depends on the client's circumstances and what's important to them that will provide an outcome as to what strategy we look at. One well, of the key questions uh, that comes up in my conversation with clients around how much insurance do I need is, you know, is what, how, does it, how does it get cal calculated? So what is enough and what's too much? Am I paying for things that I will never actually uh, reap the benefits of? From my point of view, it really comes down to what is the priorities that a client has. In most cases, in a general calculation, we look at paying out debt in the event of anything that was to happen to a family member to preserve the family structure and the lifestyle. Okay. So pay down debt is one of the key things so the bank doesn't come back and try and take the house under you. Okay. Other factors we look at is around emergency funds for funeral or any other costs associated with change of lifestyle. If you're losing a key family member, what is the impact financially to that? Have you got goals or aspirations around putting your kids through private school education? What do you currently got in terms of existing investments that you could realise to help pay down debt? So there's a number of factors come into it, but those broadly are categories that I look at, sitting down with clients and analysing what's important to them to come up with their plan around how much insurance that they can't live without and they require to protect their lifestyle and their future goals. A key thing with any insurance is cost and affordability and how does it factor into a client's cash flow. After I have a conversation with a client around what's important to them, then we talk about funding costs. Okay. There's different ways around meeting the funding uh, costs to the insurance amounts that they require. One of the ways that can be, can reduce 
the impact on your cash flow is using super is using superannuation as a funding mechanism for some of your premiums. Okay. Today's day, you can incorporate life insurance, which is death cover and also total permanent disability cover, as well as income protection within superannuation. What's the attraction? The attraction could be pre-tax dollars. So, so there's some tax savings there. Rather than paying it after tax dollars from your cash flow, you can potentially pay pre-tax, which is a maximum 15% tax rather than at your marginal tax rate. So there's a benefit there in terms of affordability. And the more likely a client's going to keep that for the longevity of the investment strategy rather than where it comes to the crunch, looking at cancelling their insurance and being without any cover. So my conversation with clients is really about what's important to them, what is their budgetary and uh, I suppose uh, excess cash flow look like. And in the, in, in the event that things become tight, will that insurance still be in place? which is critical for them to reach their future goals and aspirations. So from that, we identify whether superannuation is a valid option. And if so, what are the key things that we need to consider when looking at that? Mm -hmm.